Have you ever wanted one quick and easy place to go to get all of your Raspberry Pi vital information? If so, Raspberry Control might be the solution that you're after. It's a PHP driven web server and site that will collate um, all of your system's information such as CPU, memory, uptime of the, um, of the device and will display it in an all really, really attractive um, web page. So what you can do is go to raspcontrol.com, go to their download section and download a copy of the um, latest release. Once you've got that, transfer that onto your Raspberry Pi however you want. I do this in my normal way which is to use WinSCP. So connect into my Pi, type in my password, and then from my download section, I'm going to transfer that file into slash var slash temp, and then just copy that across. Okay, I'm going to go to my um, command line of my Raspberry Pi, and I'm in the um, slash home slash Pi directory. And what I'm going to do is I'm then going to move from slash var slash temp the um, RAS control files into the current directory I'm in and then I'm going to unzip them where we are. Okay, so I'm going to change into the directory that we've just unzipped and in here you can see there's a file called start.sh. If I run sudo dot forward slash start.sh so go back to your browser and type in the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and you'll be prompted to type in the username and password of your Raspberry Pi. So just type that in there. And you get all this vital information about your Raspberry Pi. Now you'll notice that everything you do um, through um, the web interface will be um, prompted on straight onto the screen here. Um, at the moment the um, project is in its infancy so it doesn't run as like a full-on um, web service that runs in the background so you can sort of start and stop the script but you can't really have it running all the time um, so the way you would stop this is just to run and hit control C and then that would then stop that running um, in the background um, so obviously we come back to our, um, our browser here and th that will no longer be functioning now we'll just quickly start that back up again Okay, so um, what I'd recommend is that you follow their Twitter feed. Um, it's a fairly new um, project. It's not been out very long, so I expect to see quite a lot of changes quite quickly um, as it develops. Um, they're always looking for uh, people to contribute, so if you know a bit about PHP programming, um, you know, feel free to get in touch with the guys. I'm sure they'd be um, grateful for any assistance. Um, and if you have any problems or questions, um, drop them in the comments field. Um, and um, I'll, I'll hopefully be able to help. Okay, so if it's not working, um, best thing I can recommend is to go to um, the RASP Control website and post some questions on there. And the developers there are the best people to help you out. Um, things to look out for though, um, to make life a bit easier so you're not asking simple questions. Okay, so first of all, make sure you're running PHP um, 5.4 you can do that by running uh, PHP minus V and it will print the uh, version you're running there um, if you're not running that and you haven't got it installed um, you run the command sudo sudo apt get install PHP 5 and hit enter and let that install um, another common problem I've seen quite a lot of people get is this error here which is uh, fail to listen on 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 port 80 um, the reason I found is because uh, if you have Apache running um, at the same time, um, only one service can listen on port 80 on your Pi at any one time. The way I got around this was to run the command sudo apt get purge Apache star. Well, that will do is uninstall your Apache service. Um, now, obviously, if you're using that to host a web page, well, that's going to cause you major problems. Um, Possibly some other people might know how to get them running at the same time. I'm sure that will be something that will come out in future releases um, But that was one way at least I got it working on my system if you're not running like a website on your uh, on your Pi um, Hopefully those couple of tips will, will get you over some of the um, most common problems I encountered